The last 12 days, I have been listing three items a day to Facebook Marketplace, eBay, and Poshmark. And each day, I'm listing the exact same three items at the exact same prices. So the only thing that varies between the platforms in terms of their price is the shipping. So Poshmark is a flat $7.11 for shipping. Facebook Marketplace is tiered, so there is one price if it's under half a pound, one price if it's between half pound and one pound, another price for one to two pounds, and another price for two to five pounds. And then eBay, I set the price based on the weight. That is how I have been doing this experiment, and the goal is to see which platform do I have the most sales on, Facebook Marketplace, Poshmark, or eBay. And in order to try to make it the best experiment possible, again, I'm listing the same items at the same prices at the same time to see which platform sells, does best. So today's video, I'm gonna tell you what has sold. So like I said, I've been listing three items a day. In total, I listed 38 items because there was one day I listed five items. And of those 38, 11 of them have sold. So let's go over what sold and which platforms they sold on. The first item to sell was this pair of Lululemon shorts. I, I listed them at $45. They are the shorty shorts, which are a really popular style from Lululemon, which is what I learned as I was doing research for this listing. So the comparable solds I was seeing for these shorts were between $35 and $45. So I listed them at $45 on all three platforms, and a little less than 24 hours later, I got an offer on Facebook Marketplace for $38, and I accepted. So these shorts were my first sale, and Facebook Marketplace comes through with the first point in this game. So $38, and then the buyer paid for shipping on top of that. Facebook took out $2.26 in fees. Facebook has the lowest fees of the all three platforms, so really, ideally, I would prefer sales on Facebook because the fees are the lowest. And I paid $0.27 cents for these shorts. Everything in this video are items I picked up at the Denver Goodwill Outlet which is pay by the pound. So sold for $38, I paid $0.27, cents, $2.26 in fees were taken out. So I made a profit of $35.47. The next sale was my fastest sale of the 11 that sold. So it is this pair of seven for all mankind jeans in the style, the skinny. So as I said in my haul video, seven for all mankind jeans for me, some will sit and take a long time to sell and then some will sell really quickly. I thought this style was gonna sit but I was completely wrong. I listed them at, I think I listed them at $25 plus shipping, and I got an offer on eBay within five minutes of listing for $21. So I accepted, and the buyer also paid $8 for shipping. I shipped, shipped them in a padded fly rate envelope. So in total, the buyer paid $29, $8 went to shipping, I paid $1.50 for the jeans, eBay took $4.16 out in fees, and I made a profit of $15.34 on that sale. So that is one point for Facebook Marketplace, one point for eBay, and zero so far for Poshmark. So the next sale are these Lucky Brand boots. I listed them on all three platforms, and two days later, they sold full price on Facebook Marketplace for $25 plus shipping. I paid $2.41 for them, and Facebook took $1.84 in fees, so I profited $20.75. One point I do want to make is that Facebook right now gave a bunch of free shipping labels to people. So I know one person that got 20 free shipping labels and another that got 40 free shipping labels. Unfortunately, I didn't get any. <laughs> so I do wonder if, um, if I would be getting even more sales on Facebook if I had those free shipping labels. But I did want to point that out because I know some of you watching probably know that people are getting free labels and you might be wondering if I got them and I did not. I didn't get any free labels. All the Facebook sales, they paid shipping on top of the purchase price. So the next sale was another Lululemon item. It is this green tank top from Lululemon. And I listed it, again, on all three platforms. It sold two days later on eBay this time. So now we have two Facebook and two eBay and zero Poshmark. So this tank top sold for $20 plus $3.99 shipping. So the buyer paid $23.99. Shipping cost me $3.58. I paid 37 cents for the item at the Denver Goodwill outlet. eBay took $3.31 in fees and I profited $16.73 on the tank top. Next sale, we got our first Poshmark sale. So I sold this pair of Democracy jeans on Poshmark. 
So in my video where I showed you guys my haul from Denver, I talked about these jeans and how in the past I have listed two pairs of democracy jeans and they both sold within $48 for $15 and $18. So I listed these jeans at $25 and within 24 hours I got an offer for $19 and I accepted it. So these jeans sold for $19. I paid $1.49 for them. Poshmark took out $3.80 in fees, so I profited $13.71. So we got Poshmark in the game now. Two eBay, two Facebook, and one Poshmark. The next sale were these pair of buckle jeans. They sold on Facebook Marketplace five days after listing them, and they sold for $35 plus $8 shipping. So they sold for full price five days after listing them on Facebook Marketplace. So the buyer paid $43, shipping was $8, I paid $2.30, Poshmark, not Poshmark, sorry, Facebook Marketplace took $2.28 and I profited $30.42 on those jeans. So next up are these green Hurley swim trunks. These were an experiment. I wanted to see if Hurley swim trunks would sell fast because I do see them pretty often. They did sell pretty quickly. They sold five days after listing them on eBay. The buyer paid $14.00. Shipping was $3.57. I paid $0.49 cents for them. eBay took $2.06 in fees and I profited $7.88. So these were by far my lowest profit sale, but they did sell pretty quickly and they were very lightweight and easy to ship. Next is this pair of Levi's 501 shorts. These I listed at $30 on all three platforms and I listed them the very first day. So these sold nine days after listing them. Again, I listed them at $30. I had no watchers on eBay. I hadn't gotten any offers or interest on Facebook and I got an offer on Poshmark for $20. And again, I listed them at 30. So since they've been listed for nine days without basically any interest, there were no other likes on Poshmark either. I took the $20 offer. So they sold for $20 on Poshmark. I paid $1.06 for them. Poshmark took $4 in fees and I profited $14.94. So now we have three, three, and two. So very, very close so far. So the final three sales were all Miss Me jeans. So when I was in Denver and digging through the bins, I found three pairs of Miss Me jeans in the same bin. They were all size 29 and they all had flaws. One had a couple paint marks on it. One had all the studs missing from the Miss Me patch. And then the third, I can't remember what it was. There was some kind of small flaw on it. Anyways, I listed all three jeans the same day onto Facebook, eBay, and Poshmark. I listed them at $25 plus shipping. And I had someone message me about one pair of jeans and she lives in the same city as me. So she said, hey, I live in Des Moines. Would you meet up with me? I'm interested in these jeans. And I said, sure, I'll meet up with you. And then I sent her the other two listings and said, would you be interested in either of these? They're the same size. And she read the message, but she didn't respond. So I was like, okay, she's not interested. Like, I'm not going to push any harder, but I'll bring the other two jeans with, and then I'll see if she's interested there. And then as I was driving there, I was like, you know, maybe if I tell her $20 each on these, I can get all three of them sold. I won't have to pay any fees because I'm directly transacting with her. So I'll save on the fees and then I want to ship them. And I want to worry about returns. So we got there, I, showed, I gave her the pair of jeans she wanted to pay for, $25. And then I said, would you be interested in these two for 20? And she pulled out $75. <laughs> I think she was planning to buy all three, but then I kind of lost $10 by offering right away a lower price. But since she didn't respond to my message, I didn't think she was interested at $25 each. But anyways, I sold all three pairs for $65 and I didn't have to pay any fees since I sold them in person. And in total at the outlet, I paid $6.21 for those jeans. So in total, I profited just under $59 on those three pairs of Miss Me jeans. So what a coincidence. While I was recording that, I heard my phone ding with a Facebook message. So I just checked it and I had one other pair of Miss Me jeans listed on all the platforms. This pair was in nicer condition and a newer style than the other three and a different size. I listed them at $40 and I had someone message me 10 minutes ago and they said, hi, are these still available? If so, I will buy them. 
So I said that they are, and hopefully she comes through and buys them. She hasn't seen my message yet, but hopefully I just made another sale of Miss Me jeans. Back to the sales. So should I count that three bundle sale on Facebook as three sales on Facebook or one sale on Facebook? I'm gonna count it as one sale for now and you guys let me know what you think and I can adjust it for the next update video based on what you guys say. But Facebook has four sales, eBay has three, and Poshmark has two. So I'd say it's still anyone's game. It's very close. One didn't come out way ahead of the rest. And in total on those 11 sales, I have after fees and shipping, total of $214.03 in profit. So I did have five more sales. These all sold to viewers, which is why I didn't count them in the platform competition. So first was the green floral free people dress. This one had sold before I finished my haul video last time. So it sold to Grace for $30. I paid $5.81 in shipping and I paid $1.22 for the dress. So I profited $22.97 on that dress. Next was the gray bra from Victoria's Secret. This sold to Alana and she paid $20. I paid $3.22 for shipping and I paid 20 cents for the bra. So I profited $16.58. And I actually had another person message me who was also interested in this bra. So I would keep your eye out. The style, I can't remember off the top of my head, I'll write the style over here of what the bra was. But I, like I said, I did have two people message me about this bra. So it seems like it is definitely a popular style. Next was the most popular item for my video and also the item I was probably the most excited about in the haul. It was the Patagonia pullover. I had, I don't know, probably, I don't know, it was three, four, or five people messaged me about the pullover and I sold it to Stephanie. She was the first person that messaged me. She paid $55. Shipping cost me $5.27. I paid $1.22 for it and there was a $1.90 PayPal fee taken out. So I profited $46.61 on the Patagonia pullover. I think most of you know, but if you do not know, look for Patagonia pullovers. They are super popular. I, I knew as soon as I found that, that I had a, probably a $50 or more sale. And like I said, I had somewhere between three and five people message me about that pullover. Next up was another extremely popular item. It is this fossil wallet. I had said in my video that I thought I would sell it around $20, but when I looked up this style, I could see that this style was selling for around $35. And when I listed it, I got a ton of likes on Poshmark. So this one actually did get listed, but it sold to a viewer. So I listed it again on all three platforms and on Poshmark, it got like eight likes within 24 hours. And I had a couple of you guys come and comment and say like, oh, this is so cute. I came here to see this wallet. And it sold to Jess. Jess is probably my number one repeat buyer. Thank you, girl. I hope you love the wallet. She paid $30. Poshmark took $6 out in fees. Oh, and I gave her a $1.50 shipping discount. And I paid $0.40 cents for the wallet. So I profited $22.10. And then the fifth item was, again, a really popular item. I had, I think, three people message me about these Birkenstock sandals. And Heidi was the first person to message me and I sold the sandals to her. She paid $42 for the sandals. They cost me $11.01 to ship. And I paid $1.32 for them. So I profited $29.67. I wanted to include the viewer sales because these are all items that are super popular and I would definitely pick up if you see them. The Fossil Wallet was the one that shocked me the most because it was the most popular and the comps reflected that. This the style I sold looks to be an extremely popular style. So if you add in the viewer sales to the 11 other sales, I'm at a profit of $352 in the first 12 days since I started listing the items. Obviously that doesn't take into account the expenses of the trip and I'll bring that all in after I've gotten everything listed. So a quick update on where we are at. So I had 72 items that I picked up at the Denver Google outlet. I gave two of the fig scrub tops to my sister. I have 27 items that are not yet listed and I will list those three items a day for the next nine days. I have 27 items that are listed but have not sold yet. 
I had five items that sold the viewers and 11 that are listed and sold. So I will be back in two weeks to give you guys an update on what else has sold, which platforms they sold on, and stay tuned to find out which platform ends up winning the competition. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned because as always, I'll have a new video out soon.